Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Chibi Naruto. So we're going to start with our eyes, two big round circles on the other side of the head. We'll start with the one on the left. So starting from the top, circle around the bottom, and then back up to the top. Now we're not going to color the eye in black, we're actually going to leave it hollow so we can color it in blue later on, but we're still going to draw that highlight circle on top. So up over on the left side, we're just going to draw a circle, and then we're going to draw a tiny circle in the middle of the bigger circle. So in here, Draw a small circle and color that in black. That's for the pupil. Let's go ahead and draw the same thing over on the right side, making sure we get the same height and the lower part is the same height. Starting at the top, curve around to the bottom, then back up to the top. We'll draw in that highlight circle on the top left corner, and then we'll draw the pupil. Right in the middle of the larger circle, draw a circle, and then just color that in black. From here, let's draw the mouth. So I'm just gonna draw a big crooked sort of grin Starting from the left side, I'm going to curve down towards the right. From here, I'm going to draw a curve for the side of the mouth. From this side, I'll curve around. And then I'm going to curve back up, leaving a little gap here on the right side. So curving up. And then I'm just going to close this off with a straight line. Let's go ahead and draw some teeth. So halfway between the top and bottom, I'm just going to draw a straight line across like this. I'm going to go halfway through and just cross it like a T and color the bottom corner area in black. Let's move over to the right side and draw the same thing. So halfway between here, I'm just gonna draw a little, little line going across and across the T and then color that area in black. From here, we're just gonna draw in the bottom of the head. So on either side of the eye, I'm just gonna locate the temple going across here, right here. We're gonna connect those two points with a curve that comes to the bottom and back up to the right. So I just wanna clear the mouth area. So from here, it's almost like a half circle. I'm just going to curve around the mouth and I'm going to make my way back up on the right side. So curving up. So it's sort of like a half circle. From here, let's draw on the whiskers. Starting on the left side, I'm just going to draw a curve underneath the eye. I'll move down a little bit and just draw a curve. So it goes inward. So it's almost aiming towards the center of the face. And on the bottom here, I'll curve up. Let's go to this side on the right. A curve, come down a little bit, curve in, and at the bottom as well. Okay, so we've got the inner parts of the face. Let's draw in some ears. So on these points, I'm just going to curve the ears. So curving around on the left side. I'm going to draw some ear detail. So up here, I'm just going to curve in and tuck that in behind the head. Let's draw the same thing on the right side. So curving around, and then we're going to draw that ear detail, just a little curve inside. Let's connect those two points with a curve for the headband. So right here, I'm just going to curve all the way over to the right side. So curving up above the eyes and down. We're going to draw in some eyebrows. So we're going to do some fierce eyebrows coming down. So up here, just above the left eye, I want to draw a line in an angle, just touching the top of that eye. Just coming in like that. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from these two points in the center, I'm just going to go up. I'm going to angle two lines going up. On the end here, I'm just going to step down about halfway and draw a line across like that, just to thicken up the eyebrows and tuck that in underneath that headband. From here, let's draw in the metal head guard. So above this line, I'm just going to step up a little bit, just sort of centered from the pupils going up. I want to draw a curve for the metal band. On the ends here, I just want to round them out just a little bit, aiming upwards. And then we're going to go up, two short lines going up, and then we're going to round out the ends again, and then I'm going to connect it with a curve. It's going across. Now let's draw some detail on this headband. So along both sides, I'm just going to start on the top corner and draw a circle. We're going to draw the rivets. Go to the bottom, and I'll draw another rivet, and in between the two, I'll draw a third one. Go to the right side and we'll do the same thing. So circle on top, circle on the bottom, and then in between we'll draw a smaller one right there. Let's go ahead and draw the symbol. So we can start by drawing a swirl. So starting at the top, we're going to swirl all the way around and then come back in like that. From this end, I'm just going to draw a short line in an angle. From the bottom edge here, I'm going to curve around, and then from that corner, I'm just going to go right up 
to that curve at the top there. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and draw the, just the top part of the headband. So in line with these two points, I'm just gonna trace a curve around like that. Now I stopped here because I wanna overlap some hair coming down on top of the headband. So on the left side, I'm just gonna do an overlap. So coming up, come down and across in an angle. Start aiming towards that ear. From here, I'm gonna angle up. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting up here, doing an overlap, I'm gonna aim towards the ear, and then I'm gonna come back up. From here, let's draw on another layer of these spikes. So we're gonna come down on the right on the left side here, go out in an angle, and then I'm gonna go up in an angle like that. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So coming out in an angle. So you can see that I'm starting to spread the, the, the spikes out this way. From here, I'm gonna go up in an angle. Let's draw on the sides of the headband. So I don't wanna connect it right to that point in the ear. I just wanna kind of overlap the ear on top of the headband. So you can see I'm just gonna go right into that ear like that. And same on the right side. Let's draw on some sideburns before we go back into the hair. So up here, we're gonna curve into the side of the head. So we got a little bit of that hair coming down on the side of the head there. Now, along the top, we want to draw some big spikes. So they're going in sort of a, a pattern or radial this way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the topmost point here. And that's going to be one. I want to draw two, four. So I want to draw two on either side and then fourth one on the side of that. So we'll take this point here and go up in an angle. I'm going to go to the right side and do the same thing. So I'm going to go back and forth just so I'm balancing this out because it has to be pretty much symmetrical. From here, I'm going to come straight across, just horizontal, coming in on both sides, about equal length. Now from here, I want to go up. So we're kind of making like a star pattern. So from here, I'm going to go up in an angle. Over here, I'm going to go up in an angle. Now we're going to come in towards the center. Now from this point, I'm going to come in. From here, I'm going to come in. Now all I need to do is connect those two points by going up to the central point. So in between these two lines, I'm going to go straight up and draw a point there. Take that point and go right into that line, and this one right into that line. So we've got pretty much a full head of hair. Let's get into the body. So we start with the neck, this collar. So starting just on the side here on the left, I'm going to curve over to the right with a curve. It just tucks underneath the head, just like that. Now let's go up here. We're going to draw on the sides of the body. I want the waist to come down to about here. So starting just below the top edge, I'm going to curve the side here on the left, and curve down on the right. Connect those two points with a curve, coming down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. In the middle here, I want to draw two lines side by side. Right here, I'm going to overlap the collar line. We'll go over and just draw another line like this. This is for the zipper. And on the top here, I'm just going to draw just a couple lines across. Down here, I'm just going to repeat that pattern to make it look like a zipper, the teeth of a zipper. Okay, so we got that. Let's draw in some color detail. So it looks like almost like a, a woven fabric. So along here, I'm just going to space out a couple vertical lines. We'll go to the right side and do the same thing. So I got four lines across there. We'll draw the little two patches on the side. So on the left side here, I'm just going to curve in towards the zipper, leaving a little gap. I'm going to come straight down, and again, leaving a gap, and I'm going to curve this back to the side of the body. Do the same thing on the right side. So curving out, down in the middle, and then going across. Here, okay, let's get into the arms. So I'm going to have the hands out in a fist. So I'm going to locate the hands first. So this side, I'm going to put the hand right here. I'm going to draw the hand in first before I draw on the arm. So right here, I'm going to draw sort of an angled oval for the thumb. So this is this part here. I'm going to layer it in the fingers. So right at the top of the thumb here, I'm going to curve around the first knuckle, come back towards the thumb, and then just pull in a little line like that. Okay, so it's almost like a G or almost an like incomplete six. Here we're going to draw a curve and overlapping a finger like that. We'll do one more time. So curving around and tucking this right by the thumb there. We're going to draw just the side of the hand. So right here, I'm going to curve and pull this right into the thumb like that. Now let's go over to the right side and draw the exact same thing before we draw on the arms. 
So right here, I'm going to locate the thumb. So we want to flip it over so we draw that oval in the opposite direction. So pointing that way. We'll start at the top. And we can do that swirl for the first finger. So coming back towards the thumb and then coming up. We're going to layer it to the finger. So right here, we do a curve. And then one more, we pull this right into the thumb like that. And then this part of the hand, just the palm, we're going to curve around in beside that finger. Now let's curve in the arms. So right beside the thumb, I want to curve right into that collar where the collar meets the side of the body. So I'm just going to curve in like this. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. And then we're going to draw the bottom parts of the arms. So right here, I'm just going to curve in behind the body. Do the same thing on the right side. Now the final stage, we're going to draw the legs. I'm going to keep this quite simple. So down here, we're going to locate the lower torso. So in the middle here, it's going to draw a straight line across. Do a slight overlap. A curve down to the left heel. We're going to curve down to the right heel. From here, let's draw in the bottom parts of the feet. So we're going to draw some pretty long feet. We're just going to draw a curve to the bottoms of the feet. Try to make sure that they're pretty much the same length. From this side, I'm going to draw a curve and aiming towards the heel, but I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So aiming towards the heel, it's going to draw the top of the foot like this. Let's draw in the sides of the legs. So up here in this corner, we curve down right on top of that foot. On this side, we're going to curve right on top of that foot. Now let's draw in some detail. So along the bottom here, I'm just going to draw in a bit of sole. So we're going to step up a little bit and just trace the bottom edge on both sides like this. Now he wears some slippers or open toe shoes. So up here, I'm just going to draw a curve. It goes down like that. On this side, we'll draw the same thing, so curving down. Now we want to draw some toes in here. So all we need to do is go in here at the top, just do a curve, and we're just going to repeat this. We're just going to fit in maybe four toes. Actually, we'll probably get five toes like that. Do the same thing on the right side. So curving around. So it kind of looks like toes sticking out from the shoe. Let's draw in the top of the sandal. So up here, we'll do a curve coming down and up. Over on the right side, we'll do the same thing. Now, there's, he's wearing some really short pants. So we're going to leave a little bit of a gap here between the top of the boot and the pants. So we're just going to draw a line like this, going across, and then there's this leg strap that goes across this way. So I'm going to start from the corner here and go up that way, up diagonally with a curve. We're going to go up here and make it a little thicker. Now we're just going to trace out the outer line. So just drawing the same outer line twice, just one above the other, and we'll draw that little pouch on the side. So up here we're going to step up, going across, Curving down, and then back in, and that is pretty much it. There we have it, there's Chibi Naruto. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and make sure you check out our Chibi playlist. I have a ton of characters I'll be adding more every week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.